In this video, I want to show you what L'Hopital rule says and how to apply it to find limits. L'Hopital's rule is probably the most useful and powerful way of evaluating limits. Suppose we have a limit in the form of f of x over g of x and x approaches a, which a can be any number and also a can be positive infinity or negative infinity. Now suppose that when we plug in a for x in numerator and denominator, we get to the indeterminate forms 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Then L'Hopital's rule says that this limit equals limit of f prime of x over g prime of x as x approaches a if the right side limit exists or is positive infinity or negative infinity. So according to the L'Hopital's rule, to find this limit, all we need to do is to differentiate numerator and denominator separately and then take the limit. Now let me show you by some examples how you can apply this powerful rule to find limits. As the first example, we want to find limit of x cubed plus x squared minus 12 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. To find this limit, first we plug in 2 for x. We get 2 cubed plus 2 squared minus 12 over 2 minus 2. 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared is 4. So in numerator we have 8 plus 4 minus 12, and in denominator we have 2 minus 2. 8 plus 4 minus 12 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. Because we get 0 over 0, it means that we can apply L'Hopital rule to find this limit. But before I apply L'Hopital rule to find this limit, I have to warn you about something. When you want to apply L'Hopital's rule to find any limit, differentiate numerator and denominator separately. Do not use quotient rule. This is a common mistake between students. They think that they should differentiate this quotient with quotient rule. But note that L'Hopital's rule is a technique for evaluating limit, not a technique for differentiating functions. So, according to the L'Hopital's rule, we have to differentiate numerator and denominator separately. Derivative of x cubed plus x squared minus 12 is 3x squared plus 2x. Derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of 12 is 0. And derivative of denominator is just 1. Derivative of x is 1 and derivative of 2 is 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. Now we plug in 2 for x to evaluate the limit. We get 3 times 2 squared plus 2 times 2. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 4 is 16. The value of this limit is 16. Another method for evaluating this limit is factoring but it is harder and it takes more time. Another example. We want to find limit of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x over x squared minus 9 as x approaches 3. First we plug in 3 for x. Then we have 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 over 3 squared minus 9. 3 cubed is 27, 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18, so 27 minus 18 is 9 minus 9 is 0. 3 squared is 9 minus 9 is 0, so we have 0 over 0. Because we get 0 over 0, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to find the limit. We take derivative of numerator and denominator separately. Derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, derivative of 2x squared is 4x, and derivative of 3x is 3. Derivative of denominator is 2x. Note that derivative of x squared is 2x and derivative of 9 is 0. Again, we plug in 3 for x to evaluate the limit. We have 3 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 minus 3 over 2 times 3. 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 minus 12 minus 3 over 6. 27 minus 12 minus 3 over 6 is 2. 
So the value of the limit is 2. Another example. Limit of ln of x over x as x approaches infinity. We have ln of infinity over infinity. ln of infinity approaches infinity. So we have infinity over infinity. Because we get infinity over infinity and indeterminate form, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to find this limit. We take derivative of numerator and denominator separately. Derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, and derivative of x is just 1. 1 over x over 1 can be rewritten as 1 over x. When x approaches infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. Remember that any number over infinity approaches 0. So the value of this limit is 0. Another example. Limit of cosine of 2x minus cosine of x over x squared as x approaches 0. If we plug in 0 for x, we have cosine of 0 minus cosine of 0 over 0 squared. Note that 2 times 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. Cosine of 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have 0 over 0. Because the limit is an indeterminate form of type 0 over 0, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to find this limit. Derivative of denominator is simply 2x. But finding derivative of numerator is a little tricky especially derivative of cosine of 2x. To find derivative of cosine of 2x, we have to use chain rule because we have inside function and outside function. Cosine is the outside and 2x is inside function. Remember that derivative of cosine is negative sine. So derivative of cosine of 2x is negative sine of 2x. Now we have to multiply it by derivative of inside. Derivative of 2x is 2. So the derivative of cosine of 2x is negative 2 sine of 2x. And the derivative of cosine of x is simply negative sine of x. Don't forget that we have an extra negative here. So the derivative of numerator is negative 2 sine of 2x plus sine of x. Because the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x times this negative is positive over 2x. Now we plug in 0 for x to evaluate the limit. We have negative 2 sine of 0 plus sine of 0 over 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So again, we have 0 over 0. Because the limit is 0 over 0, we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. Derivative of 2x is simply 2. To find derivative of sine of 2x, we have to use chain rule. Remember that derivative of sine is cosine. So derivative of sine of 2x is cosine of 2x. And then we multiply it by derivative of the inside function. Derivative of 2x is 2. So derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cosine of 2x. And derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So derivative of numerator is negative 4 cosine of 2x plus cosine of x. Derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cosine of 2x. Times this coefficient is negative 4 cosine of 2x. Over derivative of 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2. Now we plug in 0 for x to evaluate the limit. Then we have negative 4 cosine of 0 plus cosine of 0 over 2. Cosine of 0 is 1. So we have negative 4 times 1 plus 1 over 2. Negative 4 plus 1 over 2 is negative 3 over 2. And this is the value of the limit.